Follow Your Heart is a pretty good film. This was released in 2020. It's directed by Sandra L. Martin and it's written by Sandra L. Martin and D.F.W. Buckingham based on the book by Marley Farrell. I haven't read the book. I don't know if I ever would, but I'm actually kind of interested to start exploring novels about Amish life because I love films about the Amish. So maybe maybe I should read some books about the Amish. But for now, I'm quite content with films like these. And I did quite enjoy this. This is about our protagonist, Kathy, also sometimes called by her Amish name, Katrina. And she she's played by Gladriel Steinman. And she finds out that her father has passed away. And he's left her and her sister his farm. Now, Kathy has actually moved away. She's become an Englisher for quite some time before this film. And I will say that, it, to begin with, it felt like this was a sequel. It felt like I should have already known who she was, what her life was like when she lived within the Amish community, and then how she ended up leaving, becoming an Englisher, and becoming a travel writer as well. And I felt like I felt like I was supposed to know more than I did. For a good half of the film, it wasn't until about halfway through that I started to feel comfortable with the knowledge that I I wasn't missing out on anything. I did do some Googling. It isn't a sequel, to the best of my knowledge, but it does feel like it should be. So that's a point of criticism there, is that I feel like we needed a little bit more information to begin with. But once I got going, I actually really started to enjoy it. I really got into the story. And Kathy or Katrina is starting to wonder if she made the right choice to leave the community. And at the moment, I won't say too much about that, but I will discuss the ending in a little bit with a spoiler warning. But I found it to be a really interesting narrative. Having said that, not a lot happens. I could count the key plot points on one hand. Not much happens at all. But the characters are all really fascinating. Kathy's sister is a really interesting character because she's she's really bitter that her sister left the community and we do get a reason for this and I think the development of that character is very very well done. Kathy also connects with Isaac and it's worth noting that Kathy is currently in a relationship with somebody and we do get some conversations between Kathy and Jack with whom she's in a relationship and also with uh, her manager or her, her agent, who was really irritating as a character. I don't think she was meant to be likeable. I really hope that's the case. But we do have other characters. It's not just um, Kathy's current life when she's away from the community is infiltrating the time she's spending back in the Amish community. And that really helps to, to further this this confusion that she feels as she is being pulled in every direction. And it's, 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 it's interesting. I liked it. It was a good narrative. Not much happens. If somebody were to say they found it boring because the narrative is very slow, I could understand. But as I said, I liked the characters. Kathy was a very likable protagonist. So that was enough to keep me satisfied. And I will say, I thought it was going in one direction. I was wrong. I was pleased about that. So I will discuss what I mean by that with a spoiler warning. I don't love the ending, but at the same time, I do. And I will explain now what I mean by that. So if you haven't seen the film, if you like films set in Amish communities, then it's worth checking out. I thought it was pretty good. So spoilers from now as I discuss the end. It really, really looked like she was going to give up her life as an Englisher and go back to the Amish community. And I was thinking, don't do this because you've been back a couple of days to sign the paperwork to give your half of the farm to your sister, which was a really lovely thing for her to do. And you can't just give up this life you've created for yourself, these dreams that you've long, longed for just because of a couple of days. It's kind of like when you go on holiday and you suddenly decide, maybe I should just move to this destination because I'm really happy and everything's great here. That's kind of what Kathy was feeling. She was back there. She was obviously feeling things that she would have felt as a child, feeling the connections there. But day to day, would she have actually been happy going back to that life? I would think not. And I was really pleased when ultimately they decided to not go in that direction. And I was really satisfied with that because that's so refreshing for this kind of film. And I really like that. However, I don't believe it. I don't believe 
Isaac would just give up his life in the Amish community to be with Kathy, especially when he has his young daughter to think about. He's basically removed his young daughter from the Irish community, from everything he grew up with, everything he believed in, all because he likes writing poems. Basically, he wants to be with Kathy, of course, but she was willing to go back to the Amish community to be with him. And while I don't think that would have been right for her, I think it would have been right for Isaac and his daughter, and that would have made a lot more sense. So either way, one of those characters was going to be at a disadvantage. So I'm glad that they did things in Kathy's favour, since it was her story that we were following. But just as a point of not so much criticism, but more observation, I don't believe Isaac would give up everything to be with her after having just rekindled or, or reconnected for a couple of days. That's a, a lot, especially when he has a young child to consider. So I don't believe it. I don't think that as a good parent, he would give up everything his daughter has been brought up in just on a whim with somebody he's been thinking about for a few days. Well, maybe longer, but certainly within the context of the film, that flame has been rekindled for a couple of days, really. And it's it's not believable and doesn't really make him a, a good character. But as I said, if Kathy had moved back, I would have been annoyed at that as well. So it's 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 somebody had to lose in that situation. But either way, I enjoyed the film. I really liked it. I think it's a, a good narrative. Yes, it was a little bit not confusing as such to begin with, but it did feel like a sequel. And I couldn't find evidence of a sequel, but if somebody wants to prove me wrong and say that actually there is a film before this, please let me know. I'd love to see it, but I can't find anything like that. But nevertheless, I liked it. It appealed to me. The characters were really likable. And if it sounds like your kind of film, then I definitely recommend it.